<laughs> Holy moly. Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. Today we got ourselves a M416 which is capable of performing full automatic shell ejecting blasting. I mean take a look at this. Holy moly! Not only that, this blaster also comes with a wannabe boat lock function. I mean, take a look at this. Oh yeah! And of course, this video wouldn't be possible without the help from Mac Potato for helping me to get this blaster. To those who do not know who is Mac Potato, Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dart blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dart blaster just like this one. So if you guys are also interested with other shell ejecting options, Mac Potato got you covered. Link is in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, a buttstock, a handguard, a magazine, a fake suppressor, a fake aim point scope, a buffer tube, a grip, a pair of iron sight, a laser, battery and charger, a sling, safety goggle, 10 shells, 10 darts, and a manual. Let us first install the buffer tube. First channel the power cable through the buffer tube, align the buffer tube with the blaster, push it in, and twist it tight. Connect the battery and put it into the buffer tube. Grab the buttstock, pull the lever and push it in. You can adjust the length of the buttstock however you want. To install the handguard, align the handguard with the blaster and then twist it in. To put on the fake scope, loosen up the nut, slide it onto the Picatinny reel and tighten it up. To put on the fake suppressor, align the notch with the handguard and push it in. To put on the grip, align the grip with the Picatinny reel, push on the button and slide it in. To put on the iron side, just slide them in on both ends of the blaster. The blaster comes with these kind of standard chrome shells and this is how you put the darts into the shells. And this is how you put the shells into the magazine. Put on the magazine, don't forget to slide in the laser. And this is how the blaster looks like with everything installed. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, these imported blaster have one of those like weird scaling. As you can see that uh, the body of the blaster is weirdly scaled, not to mention like the buttstock is a little too short for, you know, a huge guy like me. Again, as far as I know, this is actually marketed towards children, not a full grown man like me. So let us talk about the build quality of this blaster. As you can see, the blaster is made out of ABS plastic. Surprisingly enough, the ABS plastic is actually pretty thick and sturdy. The buttstock of the blaster is adjustable and speaking about the buttstock, the buttstock is actually quite heavy. I'm pretty sure that they actually slot in some metal plates in the buttstock to make the whole buttstock feels heavy. The blaster also comes with a fake scope over here. Surprisingly enough, this is a fake aim point scope and it even comes with a lens cover which I do not know why, probably for intimidating purposes. Even though most part of the scope is fake but at least this blaster comes with an actual real laser. I mean, take a look at that. The Picatinny reel situation of this blaster is of course overwhelming. We got a whole roll of Picatinny reel on top of the blaster. We have Picatinny reel on both sides of the handguard as well as Picatinny reel right under the handguard. The blaster also comes with a pair of iron sight which I will probably use instead of this fake scope which serve absolutely no purpose other than looking cool. Speaking about looking cool, the blaster also comes with one of these fake suppressor to increase the length of the blaster which serve absolutely no purpose purpose at all just to make the whole blaster looks ridiculously long and maybe intimidating but I will not be using this because it can't fit the frame and it serves absolutely no purpose at all. The grip of the blaster is comfortable. It is large enough to fit in large hands like mine. The trigger pull is okay. It comes with a really cool looking grip and overall aesthetically it is nice. Okay here comes the elephant in the room. The firing mechanism. At first if you do not know how to operate this blaster you might think that you got a faulty unit. You see this blaster have three firing modes. We have a manual mode, 
a semi-auto mode as well as the full auto mode. The manual mode is pretty self-explanatory, basically you charge the handle to prime the blaster. And next is the semi-auto mode as well as the full auto mode. This is where I actually thought that I got a broken blaster because when I actually switch it to semi-auto mode, the blaster is not functioning. There's no flywheel noise or whatsoever. Same goes to when I switch it to full auto. Nothing happened at all. And this is the point where I decided to consult the manual. So here's what you're gonna do. When you switch it to semi-auto or full auto, remember to do one thing, which is charge the handle. Yes, you actually need to charge the handle after putting in the magazine as well as changing to semi-auto and full auto mode. And now, you can fire. Switch it to full auto. Oh, 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 oh. Holy moly. Man, the shell ejecting blaster head came a long way. I still remember the first one they came out is a flywheel version and the shell is literally not ejecting, it's basically falling off. This over here, we got blowback, we got shell ejecting, we even have this fake bolt lock thing happening over here. Man, what a good time to be alive. One more thing that I would like to talk about is that the darts that actually came with the blaster is actually slightly too long. When you actually put the darts into the shell, as you can see, the suction cup is actually slightly protruding, which sometimes cause the shells to stuck in the magazine. So it is advised to trim down the darts a little bit. So yup, enough of me talking. Without further ado, let us go test the blaster out. Okay, okay, the test result is actually really unexpected. At first, I thought that this is somewhat of a 50-ish FPS blaster, but unexpectedly, this blaster shoots from 69 FPS all the way to 80 FPS. Basically, a Nerf Elite FPS performance. Holy moly! The effective range of this blaster is around 7 meters. The accuracy of this blaster in 7 meters is actually not bad. Scoring a hit is not an issue. Issue. The only thing that you need to remember is to trim down the foam that came with the blaster because if you don't do so, the shell will stuck in the magazine. So far, I'm having a lot of fun with this blaster just that the scale is a little bit at the smaller side. The full auto shell ejection blowback is definitely one experience that I will never forget. Man, I'm having a lot of fun. In conclusion, this is definitely the type of blaster that will put a smile in your face. So if you guys are looking for a full auto shell ejecting blowback blaster for your kids or perhaps for yourself this is definitely the one to go with so yep that's all for today guys like this video if you like it dislike the video if you do not like it subscribe if you haven't already and of course i'm going to see you in the next video adios guys